you can quickly create a robust web mapping application with ArcGIS Server Manager without a single bit of programming. This option is fantastic for the beginner, the web ADF developer, or anyone looking to push their GIS content to a broader audience. Let's take a look at the steps involved in creating a site with these tools. To, do, to create a website, you will first log into ArcGIS Server Manager. You'll then choose the Create Web Application option. We'll give our website a name and hit the Next dialog. We then have the ability to add layers of information to our website. We can connect up to ArcGIS Online and add content from that location if we like, or you can connect to your own ArcGIS server. In this case, I'll connect to mine, and I'm going to add a map service in which I have authored an ArcMap and published to ArcGIS server. We can expand this service to see the layers that are contained inside of this map service. I'm going to hit Next. From this point, we have the ability to add tasks to our web mapping application. Before I add a task, I'm going to add some supporting services for my tasks. In this particular instance, it is a locator or a geocoding service that I would like to add to this site. I'm now going to click the Add Task menu, and here is a list of the available tasks in which you can add to a web mapping application. I'm going to choose two of these, the ability to print, and the ability to find an address. Notice that we also have the ability to do edit in the web mapping application, find a place, connect up your geoprocessing models that you create or author on desktop, as well as the query and search attributes. Say OK. I'm going to click on the configure dialog to make sure everything is connected in the manner we need it to be. So I'm happy with that. I say OK. And I hit the next dialog one more time. I'm going to give our website a name, Riverside, California. I'm going to change the default color scheme. And I'm going to hit Next. The next option is the map elements that we uh, have available to place in our web mapping application. You can check these on or off at your discretion. I will leave them all on. And I'm going to hit Finish. Now we've just created our web mapping application. In a few seconds, the site will appear here in our browser and we can use this site. So here is the web website that we just created. So I can pan and zoom around the map. Here are the tools in which I can work with. So we have an overview map, which we can turn on or off. We can measure features, identify features on our map. We have a magnifying window as well as a uh, previous, zoom to previous and uh, extent, full extent and pan and zoom. So a lot of options are, are at our fingertips in this web mapping application. So what I'd like to do is first find an address. So this is using the task that we created a moment ago. The address that I'm going to find is 2816 Sandberg. This is using the locator service that we hooked up in the wizard. So I'm going to right click, it found that address, I'll zoom to it. If I wanted to, I could turn on the magnifier window and hover over there. Very similar to what we can do in ArcMap. Make that a little bigger. So there we see a magnified state of our view. And if I wanted to print this out, I could click on the print button, create a large map. You can create a print page. And here is the print page in which we can now send to our printer, complete with the attribute information from our geocoded location, as well as our table of contents. And there we go. This is how you can quickly create a web mapping application using ArcGIS Server Manager. Developers like this as well, because once we hit the finish button in our wizard, not only did our website and virtual directories get created, but an entire .NET solution was created as well. So as a developer, I can start developing on top of this to jumpstart my development process.